Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to The Hobby. In today's video, we are talking about more speculations into 2025, which is gonna be the last year of the Scarlet and Violet era. The Pokemon company always releases three year blocks of any main series set. So Scarlet and Violet's probably gonna last for one more year with an additional four more sets. And the last block of any main series set is usually the most exciting, really. If you look at the Sun and Moon era, the last four sets included um, Team Up to Cosmic Eclipse, which is absolutely bonkers. Those are some of the best sets from the Sun and Moon era. We have ourselves the Tag Team GX cards, as well as Alt Art Pokemon cards arriving in that block. And if you look at the Sword and Shield era, the last four sets of Sword and Shield was Brilliant Stars to Lost Origin, which brought us Again, just a bunch of really cool cards like the Trainer Gallery cards and some of the best Chase cards in all of Sword and Shield are in the last four sets. So for Scarlet and Violet, next year the last four sets of Scarlet and Violet looks really, really insane. I'm so excited for next year because they're bringing all the stops. There's just so many gimmicks that are being thrown into next year and a lot of this is speculation but some of it we are really nailing down they're bringing back a bunch of really cool stuff owner pokemon are making a return owner pokemons have been around for quite a while they've been gone for quite a bit but they're making a big return into 2025 which i'm very excited for and the biggest speculation of all is tag team pokemon cards which are my favorite gimmick the pokemon company has ever released are making a return in 2025, which is, I'm so excited for this and I can't wait to dig into it with you guys. Before we get started, I would also like to announce that I will be at the Pokemon World Championship in Hawaii. So if you are in the same location, definitely come by and say hi. I will also be doing a live stream on Whatnot as a part of their Passport to Worlds event, which is a three day long event directly live streaming from their app. So if you can't make it to the Pokemon World Championship, you can check out their live stream directly on the Whatnot app. I will be giving away a ton of Pokemon World Championship exclusive products and merch, as well as some Generations booster pack. Whatnot is also giving me three base set 1999 English booster packs to give away as a part of their Passport to Worlds event. Definitely check out the link down in the description. If you sign up to Whatnot, you get a $15 credit to your account for your very first purchase. And I just happen to have a bunch of really cool products available for below $15. So definitely check out my live stream. We'll be giving away a ton of cool stuff. And thank you so much again to Whatnot for sponsoring today's video. So what are the new speculations that are coming out in 2025? The first big piece of news is that the first Japanese set for 2025, the name of it, has been revealed and it is called Battle Partners. In Japan, this set will be released in January. This will be our first English main series set as well, which will probably be released in February or March and they are going to be releasing an N collection and a Lily collection as a part of this series. The fact that this set is called Battle Partners and they are releasing an N collection and a Lily collection has brought a lot of people to believe that this is gonna be a return of partner Pokemon. Partner Pokemon have been around for as long as Pokemon cards has been around, honestly. The first big iconic one that I can remember was always Misty Psyduck. I don't know why, but I felt like as a kid, I always seemed to pull Misty Psyduck. Maybe it was a common or uncommon card, but it was just everywhere. And that one always stood out to me because maybe Misty was always really iconic in the anime with Psyduck. They were a really strong duo. So that one stuck with me, but there's really a ton if you think about it. There's the uh, Gym Trainer Pokemon, Lieutenant Surge, and Blaine's Charizard is another really iconic one. But there's a bunch of other, and a lot of people think these are gonna make a return. And a big reason why a lot of people think they're gonna make a return is that on February 21st in 2025, it's been revealed that we are gonna get some pre-constructed decks. And usually pre-constructed decks are kind of boring, but these have really big hints inside of them. The first pre-constructed deck is called Stevens, Beldum, and Metagross EX. And the second one is called Marnie's Morpeko and Grimmsnarl EX, which has made a lot of people think that these are not just partner Pokemon. These are going to be tag team partner Pokemon. So this is a combination of two separate gimmick 
that I'm really, really excited for. This is partner Pokemon that are tag team specific. Uh, this is something that we've kind of seen in the past in just the last tag team era with the tag team GX cards. We've seen cards like the Reshiram and Zekrom tag team GX and that featured N on the card. And of course we have the Sogaleo and Lunala GX, which also feature Lily on the card art. So these were kind of like pseudo trainer gallery cards because the fact that they were trainer specific Pokemon didn't really come up. Same with the trainer gallery cards. You could tell that these Pokemon were owned by a, a specific trainer, like the Urshifu card training with their trainer, something of that nature, but the trainer wasn't a part of the card. However, this brings up a really strong point, which was the uh, upcoming uh, Team Rocket specific set, which is the glory of Team Rocket. A lot of people were speculating that it was going to be a return to Dark Pokemon, which I didn't believe it was the case. I'm cool with Dark Pokemon. I think if Dark Pokemon make a return, that's completely fine. I just think that in the current spirit of Pokemon and what they currently stand for, I don't think they would really make a return to Dark Pokemon. However, they may bring back Team Rocket owned Pokemon. So we've seen cards in the past like the uh, Team Rocket's Gyarados and of course we have cards that are owned by other teams as well like Team Magma and Team Aqua. So with the return of owner Pokemon and we know that there's going to be a Team Rocket specific set that's going to be coming out next year. To me it makes total sense that we are going to see a return of uh, Team Rocket owner Pokemon which I think there's just so much room for growth in this area in terms of the art style. You can see some really cool art design come down this line. We can see uh, Giovanni's Persian, you know, we can see a bunch of really cool trainers with their tag team Pokemon. Giovanni's Persian and Mewtwo, imagine that, that would be a crazy combination. And of course we do know that into the end of this year, into next year, we are getting our EV specific set. It's going to be releasing uh, in Japan in December, but it's going to be releasing in English sometime during the uh, first quarter of 2025, which might bring up the question of, well, are we going to get tag team EV cars? That would be absolutely insane. Imagine like an Umbreon and Espeon EX card. They might not do some of these combos, but it is still a cool concept. They could have all of the evolutions in one single card art. It's absolutely possible they fit 25 Pikachu into the Pikachu V Union card. So the Pokemon company can absolutely do some really crazy stuff. There's also the example of the uh, Suicune, Entei, and Raikou card, which is another card with a trio. And then we have the uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno tag team checks. So there's another example of a tag team GX trio. So there are examples of this. I really like the idea of trainer owned Pokemon with the tag team EX. It makes total sense for some of these combos. The first two that they've announced is Beldum and Metagross EX, as well as Morpeko and Grimmsnarl EX. Uh, the first one being owned by Steven, who's known for his deal type. And Marnie is, of course, iconic with Morpeko and Grimmsnarl. So these are perfect combinations. It's going to be interesting to see what comes next, which is uh, probably going to be the A and Z era, which is the next upcoming uh, Pokemon game. But it'll be interesting. Yeah, 2025 has so much going on. It's going to be an absolutely crazy year. I think every single set coming out next year is going to be an A or S tier set. We've seen a lot of good sets so far. I don't think Scarlet and Violet has been as weak as people say it is, especially with the amazing illustration rares that we've seen so far from this era. There's been some lackluster set. I know sets like Shrouded Fable hasn't been everyone's favorite, but there's so much cool stuff in this era. Even Shrouded Fable has its own uh, really cool list of illustration rares. So there's not been a, a really terrible set. It's just a bunch of really solid middle of the road set and some, some really good one like Twilight Masquerade, who would have thought that that set would have the most expensive card from the uh, Scarlet and Violet era so far. But I think next year is going to absolutely blow Scarlet and Violet out of the water. It's going to be really, really wild. A lot of this is speculation, but we have good ideas on what's coming next year. I'm very confident we are going to get owner specific Pokemon. The tag team EX thing it might not come to full fruition. They may just be the name of the battle decks, 
but I have strong confidence that, yeah, we always knew tag team cards were going to make a return. I thought they were going to bring back uh, tag team V cards, uh, Charizard and Blastoise V, but they didn't do V, they did V Max, which makes total sense for Sword and Shield. But yeah, next year I'm confident we're getting Battle Pokemon, we're getting a Team Rocket set, we're getting Evolution, we're getting tag team cards, and probably more trainer galleries or even more illustration rare. So it's going to be an absolutely bonkers year. Guys, I'm really excited for next year. Uh, this has just been a speculation video, but I would say save your wallet. If you have anything that you want to collect, um, if you really want to pick it up, you can pick it up right now, but you might want to save your wallet for next year. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time.